Most of us would have seen videos like this where there is some kind of a caption placed on the screen but then the caption is placed the wrong way because the audience can't really see the speaker because the caption is obscuring the view. In this video, I'll show you how to write your captions better so they don't appear right in front of the speaker but behind the speaker like this and I'll show you how to do this using Camtasia. It's a very simple technique, doesn't take much time at all to implement so please watch the video till the end. Before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Let us get to the technique. So let me start with a new project in Camtasia. This is the latest version of Camtasia. First, I imported a stock video. Let me place it on the timeline and let us see how the video plays. This is the video that you had seen earlier. This doesn't have any caption on it. Now I'm going to write a caption right around this time. So it explains what I'm trying to say. Let us assume that this person is talking about how you can improve your presentations by avoiding bullet points. And the caption we are going to write here is bullet points. How do we write the caption? It's fairly simple. You decide where exactly you want the caption to appear. So somewhere around here, I want the caption to appear. So this is the timeline head. You can actually zoom in a little so you can clearly see the position of the head. Then let us insert a text element. For that, let us go to annotations. You have a lot of text options here under the first one called as callouts. I'm going to take one of the standard options. Let us take this and I'm going to place it over here. Maybe if you want to have the same thing as the one that I used earlier, I can use this. And let us say that the text I am going to write is bullet points. I'm not really changing any of the default options here because that is not the point of this video. The idea is to show you how exactly to write this caption to go behind the head of this person. And let us increase the size of this by going to the size option here and make it really big so you can clearly see the impact of this effect. Now to make this a bit more dramatic, I'm going to add behavior. So let us go to behaviors and let us use this behavior called pop-up. So I can place this over here and let us extend this text element all the way till the end and let us observe how this appears. Can you see this is the text and it appears right in front of the speaker and that is not really a very good look. So I want to make the change. So this text goes behind the speaker's face. So how do we make that happen? It's very simple. All you need to do is to take this base video, which is at the background, right click and then say duplicate. The shortcut for that is control D, just as it happens in PowerPoint. Now I'm going to move this duplicate above. Can you see here? I am moving it one layer above this and I can move this back here and all I had done is to create a duplicate and then placed it right above the text layer. Now, I don't really want anything happening before this. So I just want to remove this portion. So let me hit S, which is a shortcut for split. Select this and delete. We only want all the action happening from here. So I'm going to click on this duplicate layer, which is the top layer, and then use the option called visual effects. And the first option we have here is called background removal. This allows us to remove the background of the video. So I'm going to click on this and place this on this top layer. Now let us see how this one works for now. You can see that this is how the video plays. Fairly accurate. If for any reason you feel that there is some level of disturbance, you can always go here instead of the balanced option, you can choose accurate option. And that ensures that the background removal is even more accurate. Now, when I play this, you can see that the top layer is showing through. The background has been removed and the text which is right underneath is showing through in the background. And then we have the original footage right at the back. So we don't really have any disturbance in the look and feel of the video. So that is how we play this. You can see that it really looks very interesting. It's a very simple technique to follow and you can make your videos really come to life with this very easy technique. If you liked this simple tutorial, then you will really love this other video that I had created earlier 
called Step by Step Guide to Use PowerPoint and Camtasia Combo like a Pro. It's a very useful video if you are into making videos, especially the screen recording ones using Camtasia. And if you want to leverage the power of using Camtasia and PowerPoint as a combination, I will leave a link to that video right here on your screen. Click on the link, watch that video next.